Break this chain. Not trying to get demonetized on YouTube again. Okay, so, um, hey guys, welcome uh, to my channel. Oh my god, fuck, I wanna drink the rest of that. I didn't realize it, but I actually screwed the top of this off and got stuff all over. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's freaking dry shampoo everywhere. I'm gonna use the Arctic Fox Vacay Volumizing Shampoo. I just washed my hair. I need a little bit of extra body up in this. I wanted to do a non-super colorful look. That's the weirdest way to describe that. I would like to use some of the more natural shades in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. So I'm gonna kinda like stick with this area and possibly a couple of the oranges. So I already prepped my eyes. I used the Morphe um, concealer. So many people were talking about this when it came out and then I actually forgot about it. I just recently found the bag with all of my all of my concealers in it. So I pulled that out and used it. I'm gonna powder my eyes a little bit more again. Cause you know we had issues with this the last time I used this palette on the Instagram tutorial that I did. It was so patchy. All right, I think I'm just gonna do kind of like use Homebody, which is this one right here for all of the lid and then blend it out with this guy and maybe a little bit of this in the crease and then pop like that in the very center of the lid. I'm gonna take this, put it all over the lid. The last few tutorials that I've done, I've noticed that like, wow, that's really pigmented. Okay, so that's really pigmented. Um, I've been using the San Tropez Very or Extra Dark, the Tanning Mousse. So that one's actually been working for me really well. I'm kind of dipping in between this one and this one just to lessen up the orange in it a little bit. So I actually get like underneath my boobs and around my armpits, I get these like weird like dry spots that my fake tan sticks to really bad and it ends up like looking like super spotty and weird. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, are you exfoliating? Yes, no matter how much I exfoliate or moisturize, it seems to never go away with any of the other tanners. But I haven't experienced this issue with Sandro Pay yet. So pretty awesome. And I have to say I'm super excited about that because I, continuously have that issue and I just, I just wanna be tan. Like, it's not too much to ask for. Okay, so once this is fully blended out how I'd like it, I'm just gonna go back in and reinforce the lid shade since it kind of disappeared on us. Also, if you wanted to see the other tutorials that I did with this, um, you can definitely do that. I'll, I'll link them for you guys in the description box. I did one on Instagram and I also did one trying out the palette for the not for the first time, for the second time on my YouTube channel. Okay, we got quite a bit of fallout here too, but that's why I put my foundation on after I do my eyes. I don't know if you guys saw my plastic surgery video, but if you did and you're watching this one and you were one of the people that left a very sweet comment either on Instagram or on YouTube, I just wanted to thank you for that. It was, I was really nervous to put that video up. You know, as much as I don't really care about what people think, like at the end of the day, like I care to some extent, like everyone does, you know? And so it's just really nice to like get so much positive feedback and just have just so much like girl support. And it was just really sweet. Of course, it's been my guy friends who have been texting me like not supportive at all and be like, oh, look, natural boobs. I'm like, you can like natural boobs. That's okay. This isn't about you. We don't even date. I've never even had sex with you. Like we've been friends for ever. Like stop talking about my titties. Let me be. I just feel like I can always like count on you guys to be super, super supportive. So I wanted to thank you for that. I'm gonna go in with, uh, I think I'm gonna go in with Crazy. It's like a really deep, like plum red. I'm hoping this will look kind of more orange once we add it in here, but I just wanna add a little bit of definition in the crease area. So I'm just gonna kind of place that down and then I'll blend it out. Right now, right now, right now, right now. 
Uh, there we go. Before I go any further, I'm actually gonna shave off my mustache right now because I keep forgetting to do this. Someone asked me where I get these. You can get these from anywhere. Um, I bought them on Amazon, but you can also get them at Walmart or CVS. They're kind of by like the nail stuff. So you can get those there if you want to, but it just kind of like lightly gets rid of like all the peach fuzz, but I never do it or remember until I've got my foundation on. And at that point, I'm not going back and shaving my mustache. I don't think that that long hair was on my face, but it's totally possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the black in the palette. I didn't really plan to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's called Temptress. I'm going to put this near the lash line on the outer half of my eye. Okay, so I did my foundation and my brows off camera and did a little bit of contouring as well, just to keep this like somewhat short, not too long. It's kind of weird right now because I need to rinse this tan off and I can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like my face is kind of a different hue than my body. But once I rinse this off, it'll be a little more normal. So let's go ahead and finish up the eyes. I'm gonna go into back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and take Get Ready With Me right here just on my pinky and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that right in the center just for a little bit of shine. Pretty. It's kind of like, these are kind of like going a little bit like glitter. Like it's not like super, like you'd want to put it on something almost, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's cause I'm putting it on top of other eyeshadow, but it's really pretty. Uh, I'm gonna go in with this little brush that we did the little detail in there with, and I'm gonna go in with Home Body and Feeling Myself and Love Handles. It's the ones, all of this that we did. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the lower lash line on the outer edge for starters until most of the pigment's off the brush, and then I'll blend it kind of inward. Then going back in with that tiny little brush that we added the black with, I'm gonna wipe off the black and then I'm gonna go back in with Crazy. That It's that deep purple shade that we did in the crease. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of that on the very outer edge of the lower lash line, just right there and that's it. Like how this is turning out. These shades are blending really nicely. They look really pretty together. Pretty stoked on this palette. It'll be good for traveling for sure. Um, I'm gonna do some mascara on the lower lash line with NYX On The Rise. This is one of my absolute favorite mascaras. I wish there was a, a brow bone highlighting shade in here that wasn't, I'm in it is really pretty, but it's like a pink, Purple. I'm gonna add that to this anyway because it might end up looking really cool. I'm not really sure, but it would be nice if there was just more of a crystal kind of vanilla shade to do on your brow bone if you didn't want this like pink hue. Putting it on dry first and then once it's kind of diffused, I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit. Not with the Morphe one because we know I tried that the other day and my eye was burning for like several minutes. <laughs> That was not pleasant. Okay, loading a little bit more of that on my brush. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and spritz that and stick it right there. What are the good movies to see you guys? I went and saw um, the other day I did like a get ready with me because I was going to the movies and I went and saw Fantasy Island and that was not very good. I mean, I was somewhat entertained, but let me just start my blush real quick while I'm yapping. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Satisfy blush. I just really liked this shade with the look that I have going on. Actually, I'm gonna do the highlighter first. Um, I'm gonna use Ofra's highlighter in Bali. I love Ofra highlighters. They're literally my favorite besides, you know it, the Kristen Leon Urban Decay one, of course. I worked my ass off on that highlighter. So they were probably so annoyed with me. I was like, we gotta go back to the drawing board, y'all. Dude, this is just so good. It's so good. I have an Ofra discount for you. If you buy anything at all in your whole life from Ofra, let it be the highlighters because that shit is bomb. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk to you guys about the movie. So in Carlsbad, where I just moved 
from, why can't I talk today? I moved from Carlsbad to Nashville, okay? I love the Cinepolis theaters in Carlsbad. Like they, going to the movies is like one of my favorite things to do. I always take myself to the movies. And so I was a little disappointed by the movies here in Nashville. Like they're not that nice. Like even in the nice part of town, like Green Hills, like it's the, like the rich area, I think. It's like where that big mall is with all the designer brands and everything. Use a little bit of powder. I got a little crazy with the blush over here. It's just like, I want to be able to push a dang button and get a drink <laughs> or popcorn. Like I'm, I'm just, I get it. I'm like really bougie about my movie theaters, but like I just really got accustomed to being able to do that. And yeah, the movie tickets are freaking expensive. So I went to the theater and the escalator was broken. So I had to like go down this creepy staircase and it was sketchy. I thought I was going to get robbed in there or something. And <laughs> then the movie theater was like kind of older. The chairs were kind of older. Like no one was in there for a few minutes, which was kind of nice, except it was a scary movie or so I thought. So I went and saw that and I thought it was pretty cheesy. And then I ended up getting, they did have beer at that one, but you have to like, if you want to go get a beer, you have to basically leave the theater, go all the way up the stairs because the escalator is broken and then go to the bar that's over there. And that takes a while. It makes you miss the movie. So I was pretty bummed about it. But uh, yeah, that's my bougie ass story about the movies. And that movie was not very good. It looked really cool in the trailer and then it just didn't really, my head has been extra itchy from these extensions. It just didn't really live up to my expectations. Here's the final look with this palette. I really like this palette. I think it's very versatile and I think it's pretty cool. I do really like this pink shade I'm in it. Um, I really like that shade for basically any shade, like to work with any shade in here. Maybe other than the like silvery coppery ones and the gold. But other than that, I think that would go really well. You know what would look really dope is I'm in it with, oh, I didn't use the yellow, the yellow in this palette. Like these would look so cool together. Okay, so basically needless to say, where did the wipe go? Um, needless to say, I'm gonna take this with, to, to me with Santa, Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. The takeaway from this is that I'm gonna take this palette to San Diego with me. I think it'll help me create, like I just have like a lot of, a, a good range of looks that I can do with it. So if you wanted to pick up this palette, um, I do have a discount code. If you wanted to buy anything in stores at Morphe or online, it's just Kristen and it'll save you 10%. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. Is it something you want to grab? What do you guys think about the, the payoff of the more natural shades in this since we did the colorful one last time? Let me know in the comments. Comments. I'll chat with you guys there and thanks for being here and for watching. Love you guys. Y'all almost let me leave with no lips. What is going on? I have never done that in a video. That is so wild. Okay, this is just an Essence lip liner. I think I got this from like the dollar store or something. I don't really know where this came from. This little thing is so tiny though. I feel like I'm holding a crayon. Now I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Starling. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's try this again, round two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.